What's up guys? This is gonna be my first early review. I am so excited. I was so excited when I found out that I got tickets to see Iron Man 3 early. Even if it was only two days early. But, you know, I was... I, this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year. I love the... I love um, the first Iron Man movie. I love the Avengers. The second Iron Man movie, it's alright. It's a little underrated in my opinion, but, you know, they did a lot of things wrong with it. I love the director. I love Robert Downey Jr., and, you know, I was just so excited for this movie because it was the first movie that started off the Phase 2 of the Avengers uh, because there's going to be this whole new set. Pro guys have probably already heard of it, so I'm not going to talk about it. If you haven't heard of Iron Man 2, which I doubt you haven't heard of it, um, the plot is that after the Avengers, Tony Stark has been scarred by his experiences that happened in New York, so he has sort of an anxiety or PTSD disorder, that doesn't make much sense. A new threat arises, um, and his name is the Mandarin, and uh, he starts causing a reign of terror on Tony, and a big question arises, does the man make the, make the suit, or did the suit make the man? And yeah, that, this is pretty much the base color down. There are a lot of twists and turns in this movie, I have to say, this was a really, really solid movie. Starting off with the positives, this movie really does improve on the second Iron Man movie. I, it was, as I said, the second Iron Man movie, it's alright. Um, it, I think it gets a lot of hate. It's not really the best movie, but you know, I have a good time watching it. It ha does have its problems, it does have quite a bit of problems, but you know, it's really not that bad. The acting is really, really well done here. Robert Downey Jr. always just gives a great performance. Uh, Tony Stark is one of my favorite characters that he's ever done. Uh, everything about this character, uh, how he's just so sar sarcastic, he's really, really funny. And uh, But this movie it really showed um, how there is a man behind all these quippy one-liners and everything. Uh, because... Tony Stark really does deal with a lot of serious stuff here, and Robert Downey Jr., as Tony Stark, really does portray those emotions particularly well. Another standout for this movie is Don Cheadle. Uh, the second movie, he really wasn't given that much to do, but this movie, uh, he he does have a lot more to do, and I and he was he's really solid in this movie. Um, other standouts are Guy Pearce, Gwyneth Paltrow, Shane Black, the director and the screenwriter. Uh, he directed Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is a, just a great movie. I love Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, um, which also stars Robert Downey Jr. I really like this guy's style. He, uh, he writes really, really funny screenplays. He has really good dialogue. He has a really good sense for cinematography, and he really knows how to make his shots as the best that they can be and he just puts a lot of humor into the script that I think that it needed in some of the scenes that got pretty dark um, especially Tony Tony Stark uh, he was probably the funniest he's been in all these movies and this is definitely the funniest movie of the trilogy and maybe it it's, might even be funnier than the Avengers there are a lot of surprises that I didn't see coming um, even though some uh, the surprise of the like twists I did see coming, but some of them I didn't, and yeah, I can't really fault the script for that. I mean, sometimes it gets into like the cliche. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it sometimes gets cliche. But um, but you know, what are you gonna do? I mean, but some of the surprises really did work. Action sequences in this movie are amazing. The scale and the scope of this movie, it's it's epic. That's the only word that I can describe it. Uh, the soundtrack really does work, and it really enhances these action sequences that are really well done, especially probably the last the last act of this movie, which is almost all action, and it's just, it's just great to watch, and I had a heck of a good time watching it. The special effects, uh, it, this is amazing. 
it really is. Uh, technology has gone a long way since they first made a computer. I sound like an old man. Get off my lawn. But yeah, the special effects in this movie, th they're amazing. This movie right here, this only had a $15 million budget, which, yes, that, that is a lot of money, but not movie terms. And, um, but this movie has, like, I don't know, like a $250 million budget or $200 million budget. It has a big budget, and I think that Shane Black really used the money to his disposal, and he used almost every cent um, right, so yeah, that that's that's really good. Now I have to get to the downsides of the movie. Even though the humor did work in some of the scenes, some of the other scenes I felt like it might have been forced or it just wasn't right. Uh, like, for example, something happens and it's supposed to be really sad, but then, like, just like three minutes later, Tony Stark makes a joke and I, I just didn't, I don't know. It just didn't work. Some pacing problems. This movie is like two hours and ten minutes long. It's not a huge running time, but it is. It feels lengthy in some parts, especially probably the first twenty minutes, maybe. Um, even though it's setting up the story, and some twists and turns that didn't quite work. As I said, it gets cliched. But this is this movie is just such a good time. Uh, it's it's great. I absolutely loved Iron Man 3. I'm going to give it an A. Um, it's not my favorite movie of the year. That's obviously The Place Beyond the Pines, but I had a heck of a good time uh, watching uh, Iron Man 3, and I cannot wait for the further installments of The Avengers Phase 2. So thank you. Um, if you want to fault, if you want to comment, rate, and subscribe, um, that would be very, very um, helpful. Um, and... Uh, my Twitter and my letterbox are going to be down below, so uh, if you want to check those out, that would be great. And um, yeah, I'm DS Hockey Boy 15. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.